season's about to ramp up last week beginning of the week my allergies started giving me a hard time so i'm kind of talking through my nose because i really can't breathe and i sound funny but i hope i don't annoy you too much with that i'm marked up baby got my stick on my truck that's my logo a guy actually made it for me for free i called him on the phone was on the phone for about 30 minutes sent him an email of a picture similar to kind of like what i wanted and he sent me back three options. I chose that one. I probably won't mark my truck up any more than this. I've worked with people who have face and business name and everything on their truck and then ones who haven't. And I personally won't do any more than this just because it's not worth it. It doesn't really bring as much business as you would think. And then it's basically free advertisement for people who want to break into your truck and steal HVAC. General contractor, oh, he has very expensive tools in his truck, so let me break in there and grab some. I'm super thankful for the guy who made my logo, and actually someone at my church made that sticker for me. So, thankful for my connections and people hooking me up with stuff. Really appreciate that. As I said in my last video, Friday was my last day of my general contractor. I have been working Monday through Friday, 40 hours a week, and in the evenings and Saturdays doing handyman side jobs and videoing those for YouTube. Next week I start with a heating and air guy that I met a couple years ago. He just needs some help, extra hands, and that's what I've decided to do. So back in high school, there was a kid I went to school with. He did summer jobs, construction. He'd come to school after summer telling us what he did, you know, over the summer, this and that, with the general contractor, and it just really piqued my interest. I was super interested in hearing what he did over the summer. So I thought, hmm, this might be something I want to go into. So he hooked me up with the contact, I made the contact, we did a little bit of phone tag. He was a little nervous with me coming in as a kid, I had limited availability since I was still in school, and he had had some past problems with some previous employees. So I started with him two days a week, it bled into college, which I did heating and air school for a year and a half at the local technical school, and he was always flexible with my schedule. I never really worked full time for him. There was a time where I was working Monday through Wednesday with him doing handyman jobs Thursday and Friday. But he was okay with that because he knew I'd be there Monday through Wednesday. I'd work hard, do a good job, and he appreciated that. So he was willing to give me that time for handyman jobs. So I graduated the heating and air program with a certificate. Uh, a bunch of head knowledge, kind of how units work but not really any hands-on experience, so I don't feel comfortable working on a unit. So I started thinking, uh, I went to school, I'm not doing this every day, I'm starting to lose my head knowledge of it already, I really want to exercise that muscle. It was kind of perfect timing for the heating and air guy that I met two years ago because business was starting to ramp up, he needed help on change outs and new installs, and he knew that I went to school for heating and air, so he reached out to me, offer me a job, maybe start a couple months before summer. What that would do is also give me plenty of time to give my boss notice. Now I gave him a three month notice. That is unheard of these days, especially in the construction industry. People will walk off, you'll never see him again. It actually happened on a job that I was on with my general contractor. It was Thanksgiving, these boys were showing up late, and he told them the week of Thanksgiving, look, don't worry about coming back until after Thanksgiving, and you better have your crap together. Well, they never came back. Never to be seen or heard of again. And actually left us in the dry because we were on a big project. He had been good to me, always paid me good, treated me well, always had work for me to do. So I didn't want to burn that bridge or leave him on bad terms or leave him within two weeks. I just felt it was right to give him a couple months notice. Also, burning that bridge wouldn't do anything for me because you never know what life's going to bring up. 
I might have to go back to him if I get in a tight spot. Super nice guy. I felt bad for leaving because he's taught me everything I know, even all this handyman stuff that I do on this channel. I've learned working for him. And I feel like it's kind of wrong to leave him, but in return, he always knew I was going to show up on time and do what I said I was going to do. So it's a pretty even exchange in my opinion. Another cool thing about starting with a heating and air guy is that I actually have more time for handyman jobs and editing these YouTube videos trying to make them better for you guys. The heating and air guy can't employ me full time just because he's not at that stage in his business yet. And that's perfectly fine with me because it fits in my schedule perfectly because I've been getting calls constantly. I actually have three jobs to look at tomorrow. People keep calling and when the phone rings, that's money on the line. So I'm answering, trying to get that business. And it's really good because I've been getting overwhelmed with all this work because I've been working 40 hours a week with my boss. Being like, when am I going to get this stuff done? You know, I'm like six weekends out. Well, when I start with the heat and air guy, I'll have more time during the week to get stuff done, knock it out, get on to the next project. Also, having more handyman jobs and time for the jobs, I hope to push out more content for you guys. I'm really trying to do this YouTube thing. I don't know what that entails. I'm just going to keep putting content out there on the regular, trying to post every Monday. When I don't have work, <clears throat> like now, I took the weekend off. I do a little talking video. I know I'm not the best at talking. However, I think I'm getting better. My last couple of videos have been a little bit better talking to the camera. I'm getting a little bit more comfortable with it. And hopefully, I'll just be 100% comfortable like I'm having a conversation with my dad in a couple more videos. One of the key things I want you to get out of this video is don't burn your bridges. You never know what's going to happen and why do that when you have a good relationship. It's getting dark. Time change of day. I'm kind of tired. You guys probably are too. I got a lot of stuff to do. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to like, subscribe, leave a comment below. See you in the next video.